Under the canoe is deceiving you. Forget Biafran agitation and support one Nigeria. Rochas Okrocha won the Eagles. The former governor gives the best advice ever on why Eagles should stop agitating for Biafra. He said Eagles will lose. If Eagles do not want to lose the majority of their businesses and investments, Rochas Okrocha has recommended them to stay. Rochas stated that he is not among those advocating secession and that people for secession have no idea of what they are risking by doing so. This comes only hours after all of the governors in the Southeast rejected IPOP, saying that anyone advocating secession should be dealt with in their own language. Egos should stay and manage whatever they are given. According to Rochas, because living will be worse, because they will not be able to engage in any productive agricultural business that will profit or provide them with food. He stated that they specialize in business and that staying and bearing whatever circumstance they are in now is in their best interest. The former governor of Imo State stated that he will never support the expulsion of eagles and that everyone who protests should be taught a language that they can understand. Many Nigerians, particularly Igbos, have expressed their displeasure with Rochas Okorocha's words. Hmm. In fact, um, throughout last week, Rochas has been speaking ill and bad of the IPOPs and the egos in generality. Um, I'm completely disappointed that even the people we are believing that are supposed to stand and speak for us are now the ones speaking against us. The ones who believed that we have confidence in that we stand for us and speak and support us and now the one standing against us. <laughs> this is unbelieving. I used to tell people that the one you call your brother, the one you call your brother will be the one to backstab you. I don't blame Otto Easy that said it that the Nortonans are the best of friends. That he believed in the Nortonans more than his evil brothers. Why won't he say so? He will say so because uh, because the the Nortonans have shown him love. Forgetting that it is the heart of that one Nortana. It is the heart of that one Nortan man that actually showed him that love and not the heart of the other Nortanans. Does he know the heart of the other Nortanans? Does he know who the Nortanans are? Does he? He doesn't. Look at the ones we built our confidence in. And voted in. The ones we believe that can speak on our behalf, that can support us in terms of needs, see what is coming out of them. Rochas is saying that we should stay and manage what we have. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Why won't he say so? Has he finished extorting? Has he finished embezzling? 
as he finished siphoning. Richards is the most embezzled governor in the whole of Southeast. I'm telling you, he embezzled more than Oji Uzokalo. It's just that nobody has been able to bring out his file. Nobody has been able to bring out his file. Nobody has been able to expose him. That is the problem. And why? It's because the corruption in our country, Nigeria, is so high. It's so big that nobody, nobody can be able to, to get it out. Look at Adam Soshomole. Adam Oshumole's corruption file was almost brought out. But where is it now? Where is it? Where is it for us to see? Where is it for us to review? To review? Where is it? It has been thrown to the fire. It has been thrown to the fire. Nigerian is too corrupt. We are too corrupt. We are too spoiled. We have bad leaders. We have wicked leaders. We have... Oh my God. My dear viewers. What we are going through in this country. The pain we are passing through in this country is from the hand of our leaders. They are the ones killing us. If we want to assess the federal government, we are supposed to pass through our governors. But... Passing through our governors end up bringing us disappointment, end up bringing us pains, end up bringing us uh, setbacks. Is it supposed to be so? It's not supposed to be so in any way. It's not. But look at what we are going through. Look at what we are passing through. Look at what we are experiencing. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. This is absolutely crazy. I don't want the Eagles to be too surprised at Ruchas Okorocha's statements because people of his kind are bound to say things like this. They are bound to say things like this. So we should not be surprised you understand? Knowing who Rocha Sokorocha is. I'm, in fact, I'm totally disappointed in all our Igbo leaders. All our Igbo governors. They all have been very, very wrong and evil. What they have been doing to the masses has been very, very unfair. They have been very unfair to the Southeast. To the extent that the international organization have to intervene and start speaking on behalf of the Igbos, knowing fully well the importance of the Igbos to the Nigerian economy. The Igbos are the major factor that has been promoting the GDP of the Nigerian economy. Take the Igbos away. I tell you, Nigerian will become a forgotten country. Nigeria will be like a desert. Nigeria will be a desert because it is the Igbos that, decide, that decides and influence the economy of this country. Do you understand? And that is just the humble truth. So, my beautiful people in the house, I don't want to talk much because you already know everything. Concerning the person who is speaking. My dear viewers, um, please, I would like to hear from you to know what your own opinion concerning all that has just been taken note of. Please don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.